Let's add a Dataverse security role to our security solution, give it some access, and then export our solution. This is episode eight in our series on model-driven app versus Canvas app. And so far we know we've built some Dataverse tables, we've built a model-driven app, we've built a Canvas app, we've got all packaged in a solution. So now what we gotta do is create the security roles for those Dataverse tables, and then we got to export this solution so we can get it over in another environment. So let's just jump over to my desktop and dive in. Okay, so over here in the desktop, right, we're already inside of our solution. And so what we wanna do up here is we're gonna new, and this time under security, we want to add a security role. All right, so security roles, like I think of groups when I hear roles, but the idea is we're gonna create a role and then we're going to say, hey, this role has these permissions to this specific table. And so then that way, when we import the solution to the other environment, we'll just need to put our users into this security role and then they should be able to do all the things they need to do. All right, after a lot of seconds, this screen opened up, right? It's in the old interface. Sorry, hopefully one day they get this updated. But all we're gonna do here for our role is call this video vendor product, like so. And so then all we wanna do now is we're gonna go over here to custom entities, right? That's the entities that we have, um, all the entities we've added. And so if we scroll through here, right, we should be able to find our vendors and our projects, All right? So we're gonna scroll, 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 scroll. And down here, we finally have our product, All right? So we know it is the second one because it has been the whole time. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to then click on the name itself until all of the little dots turn green, right? And so this is going to give all the different access to that table. Now, Dataverse security can be very robust and very complex. And so you can start to get into, you know, only I can only do these things to my records, only these to people that work in my business unit, right? There's a lot of richness to be had here, but this is not a video on diving into the full Dataverse, right? This is a video about getting this up and running. So giving anyone in this role do, the ability to do all the things to all the data, that's the easiest path for us. But remember, in Juan's model-driven Dataverse class, he's gonna go through all this, he's gonna go through some different security models, he's even gonna get into item-level security, but that is not today. So that'll get product locked down. And then if we scroll down here, we should also be able to find our vendors. And so we're just gonna do the same thing for vendor and click. And if I just scroll all the way back to the top, just so you can see, right? So each column represents create, read, write, delete, append, append to, assign, and share. And so that's where you can really kind of do that first level of tuning. Anyway, that's enough for us. So all we have to do now is say save and close. This will create this data role for us and make it so that we can use it in our solution and package it in our solution so it goes with us. Okay, so close the window, we get this whole message, we'll just say done here, and now our security role has been added in. Before we take our solution though and push it, or export it so we can import it in the next video, what we're gonna wanna do as well while we're in here is we need to kind of make sure we've got all the pieces. And so like when I did this in practice, I missed some, and I thought about walking you guys through like doing it bad and doing it right, I decided not to. So what we wanna look for here is if you go look at your Canvas app, right? So where's our friend, the Canvas app? Down here at the bottom. If you hit the ellipses here, then what you're going to wanna do here is under um, advanced, you're gonna say add required objects. So this is gonna add anything that your solution might be missing. All right, so we'll go over here, we'll say okay. And so what was missing here was the real library. Remember we used that component uh, from the header from the component library? that did not get pulled in naturally. So we needed to add that ourselves. So now that that is in here, we shouldn't have, knock on wood, we shouldn't have any issues, but <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens. Okay, so everything in our solution should be in good shape. So then over here on the left, we're gonna click on the overview. And so then now we can publish all of our customizations and we can do our export. And once again, publish all customization, I'm gonna click it you shouldn't have to do it. Everything should be published, but these are like old habits die hard. Like nothing bad can happen by saying publish all customizations. So me try, instead of me ever trying to understand, am I in a scenario where I needed to click that or not? I just press it every time. So we'll let that run for another few seconds. All right, what well, after it felt like forever, it finally finished. And so now all we got left to do here is say export. Now, once again, it's kind of walking you through if you want to check or publish, we're not going to do that, but you could. And then we'll do next. Go to have a version number, leave that be. And now let's say, hey, do you wanna export this as managed or unmanaged? So really all that's asking is when you export this, do you want this to be able to be modified wherever you import it? Or do you want it to be locked down and they can only do whatever you've given them? So managed 
is locked down, right? That means they can't make changes over on their end. Unmanaged means, hey, you're gonna pull these things in, but they can edit them willy-nilly. So it would depend on if you're importing like into production, you probably want managed. If you're just like, hey, I just want those over here to test and I wanna be able to mess with it over there too, unmanaged. So we're gonna do managed and we're going to say export. So now this is gonna run for a couple minutes, but when it finishes, we will have all of that done, right? Like you get excited. No, look, currently exporting a solution. So go ahead and get rid of this green. It'll turn green and then we'll be able to export it here in a second. So I'll hit pause, we'll be back. All right, so after a couple minutes there, the green bar popped up and hit download here to download this. Like one of the things I find really weird is like there's not a library of these, like I can't easily just go re-download this later, so don't lose this file. Because once this little bar goes away, I don't know how to get it back. Maybe you do, tell me below if you do. But there you go. So now this is downloaded. So all that leaves us in the next video is to, we're going to import this into a different environment, so a different setup, so it'll see all the stuff come in, and then inside that environment, we're going to share it off with Chewy, so then that way he has access to all this, and we can kind of really like see like, yes, all this work here went. Now keep in mind, our export does not take our data, so there will be no data when we get over there, but our apps should be there, our roles, our components, our dataverse tables, our lookups, our relationships, all of that should be. So if you wanna check that video out, click up there, right? And if the video is not up there, remember it'll be out to tomorrow and always be a YouTube subscriber so you get notified as soon as that video launches. And with that, I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day.